YouTube, how's it going? Swamp Piper 84 coming your way tonight with pipe interview number 10. So, finally got to double digits on this, so really cool. Uh, before I get into the review, talk about the pipe, as always. This one is the country gentleman that Pie and Coffee sent with his contest giveaway. So, very cool. I customized it with a uh, Forever Stem. This one actually came from Walker Briar Works. Uh, Walker Briar Works does not make these anymore. Uh, they passed it on to a, a little mom and pop shop in uh, Missouri. That's right around the Missouri American Company. So that's pretty cool. Uh, just, uh, if you want one of these stems, or the you know they got church warden stems, everything else that go into corn cobs. Awesome stems. Uh, just search Forever Stems on Google. And it'll pop up the, the little mom and pop shop that's selling them now. But, anyways, I am smoking a little bit of Hearth and Home AJ's Vapor. And it is blended with Andrew AJ Smith. This is a different turn on the Virginia Perique genre. A variety of Red Virginias are combined with a generous amount of Perique, and the mixture is slightly mellowed and sweetened by Green River Black Cavendish. I talked about this in my hit and no miss the other night. I'm smoking it all the time now. It's pretty much everyday smoke. Really, really enjoy it. If you like vapors and uh, you haven't tried a Red Virginia Vapor, uh, definitely pick this one up. AJ's Vapor or uh, Louisiana Red. That's also from Hearth and Home. But the subject of my review today. It is a cool little book that I've had for a while, and uh, if you guys have, uh, you know, a son, you know, or a young kid, or, you know, a young boy around, this is definitely a, a book to keep around, or, as an adult, it's stuff to go back and look at and just kind of remember being a kid. It is called The Dangerous Book for Boys, written by Khan and Hal uh, Igulden. So, really cool stuff. Flip it up here to the uh, table of contents and get all these post-it notes as place markers for me. But yeah, here's contents. And inside of it, it's got a. Well, it's got the essential gear for uh, a boy to have five knots every boy should know, uh, making a battery, how to play stickball, fossils, building a tree house, dinosaurs, making a bow and arrow, uh, table football. Uh, baseball's most valuable players, famous battles, uh, astronomy, making it, I mean, all sorts of shit in here. Uh, that, you know, a, a young boy, you know, growing up, being adventurous and everything else, and, you know, being outside and, you know, just kind of getting in trouble, but the, the good kind of trouble that us as, you know, kids got into. Uh, it's a really good book to pick up. Like, uh, flip through here, show you some of the stuff in here. Like the essential gear. The essential gear that they have for uh, every boy should have is a Swiss Army knife, a compass, a handkerchief, a box of matches, a uh, shooter, a uh, big marble, a uh, needle and thread, pencil and paper, a small flashlight, magnifying glass, band-aids, fish hooks, and yeah, that was it on the fish hook. That's, that's a pretty good little you know kit to have around. Like I said, essential gear. Pretty much do anything you want with that. Going on. Following that up is the greatest paper airplane in the world. It shows you how to uh, how to fold it and make the really cool airplane. I've actually made it. It's really cool. Uh, going on to Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. So Counts down through all of those. Uh, five knots every boy should know. Building a tree house, you know, step by step for a basic little tree house. You know, supporting the platforms, and you can't really see the pictures in here, but they have all little diagrams and stuff like that to to help you through it. They got the rules of soccer. Understanding grammar, part one. There's, you know, part one, part two. There's a few parts in here. Uh, talks about fishing. 
different fish. I mean, this stuff goes all over the place. I mean, timers and trip wires that make little traps. Uh, famous battles in history. So, I mean, it's really cool what they do. And then rules of rugby union. Uh, rugby union. Uh, uh, making a go kart. Like I said, all these things, they have the diagrams. Little explanations for everything. Like this one's really cool. Navajo co uh, Code Talkers Dictionary. So it runs through. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Yeah, it's thing is showing up now. You know, different uh, the alphabet, the Navajo word, and the little translation or translation. Like uh, the alphabet B, uh, Navajo word is shush, and it means bear. So different stuff like that. Yeah, this is really cool. A brief history of artillery. Go see the old uh, trebuchets and ballistic uh, or ballistas and cannons and all sorts of crazy shit in here. Go back here, hunting and cooking a rabbit. And books every boy should read. Those are just uh, the few that I marked on here. I mean, that book goes through everything, and it's really cool because they go through, it's not just a, you know, hey, let's go out and get in trouble, and, you know, this is how you, you know, throw rocks, skip rocks, and, you know, break stuff with it, and, you know, juvenile shit like that. It's, you know, it, it does go in with skipping rocks because that's not really juvenile, but you know what I'm saying. But, yeah, it's, you know, it goes through... You know, the hunting aspects and, you know, like the, the manly stuff. And that goes into, you know, actually education and making sure that you know, the boy's head is well-rounded and not just all about, you know, hunting and fishing and that's all that, know, that they know how to do. Not a bad thing to know, but... Uh, and if you have a daughter or a girl in your life, it's, you know, it's good for them too. And they also have a book called The Daring Book for Girls. And it's not all, you know, the cooking and cleaning bullshit like that. It's got some cool stuff in there, just like this one. It's well-rounded. Uh, both books, uh, I think there's actually a, a series. They have more books for the boys and girls now. But the series is really good. You know, it helps out. Uh, it's good to see stuff like that out that's encouraging kids to go out and do things and encouraging parents to do projects with the kids instead of just sitting in front of a TV or a video game and saying, have fun. So, it's uh, refreshing and it's worth a pickup. I picked that up off of Amazon for, I think, under 20 bucks. So, it's pretty cheap and has a lot of lessons in it. Uh, I enjoy it. I don't have a, a son or anything at this point, but I enjoy looking through it and just, you know, there's stuff in there that I didn't do when I was a kid. And, it's cool learning about them. So, a lot of information in there. Definitely worth a pick up. In that book, I gave one, two, let's see, three, four. Oh, yeah, that's Stan Wellhorn. I'll be smoking that later on. And five. I'll give it a five star or a five pipe review. So, pick it up, guys. Worth a check out. Uh, it's for, like I said, this is a dangerous book for boys, but it's all across the board. So, pick it up. If you're looking for something to read and uh, looking for projects, uh, especially during the summertime now, you know, all the kids are out of school. So, pick it up. Check it out. Enjoy it. Until next time, guys.